All right, pull the name out. Make some noise for Nate Welch, everyone. We're flying through it. Wow, big pop from the crowd. Here he comes, Nate Welch. One more time for Nate. Thank y'all. Now, I'm from a small town in Louisiana. I ain't been out here that long. And I know, my head looks like a dick. But that don't mean I'm a dickhead. I'm not a cop, not a Nazi, and I don't have a degree in American History X. I just look like Stone Cold Steve Austin and Little Debbie's bastard. Like Stone Cold Steve Austin quit wrestling in the WWE and started wrestling with depression. They call him the Texas Rattlesnake, and they call me the Louisiana Snack Cake. <laughs> but I'll tell you this, man, I'm single, and they got a lot of females out here that are looking for sugar daddies. And I'm like, look, I'm sweet, I got a dad bod, but I ain't your goddamn sugar daddy. <laughs> like, I'm from the bayou, but that don't mean I'm a bayou shit. There you go, Nate Welch, everyone. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Look at you. We went from Jasmine power to white power. <laughs> it's incredible. You look like a serious man. Nah. All right. <laughs> welcome, welcome. How long you been doing stand-up, Nate? Uh, about a year. About a year. You started in Louisiana? Yeah, I did it for about three months back home, and then when I moved here. So you moved here about nine months ago? No, I moved here about a year ago. I took a few months to kind of figure out how L.A. was, because, I, like I said, you know, I feel like a fucking... Yeah. Louisiana Saturday night, you know? No, I feel like a Neanderthal living, like, you know, in a different world. Of course, you are. You're from Louisiana. That's what I'm saying. Absolutely. Yeah, that's absolutely. What was right. so different about LA? From LA, from Louisiana to here? Yeah. The people, bruh. What about them? Just, dude, like, they got. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just feel like, um,. <laughs> There's a whole different fucking culture, like, you know, and the people are just different. Like, they got a lot of cool people I met out here, but they also got some... Just overall, they ain't got no respect, I feel oh, like. Oh, wow. Here we go. Now thank- we're getting into it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, a little Rodney respect Dangerfield over here. Oh, I've been a bouncer for 12 years, so... I knew I'm you were a like, fucking bouncer, dude. Yeah. You got the vibe, dude. You have the vibe for sure. Thanks, okay. Bro. So, uh, and, and they just don't have respect for you at the club. They don't respect. No, not even that in general. I'm just talking about people in general. Like, walking down the street, you know, people just like, like, I guess back home people say, hello, hey, how you doing? That, good morning. Shit like that. Yeah. Little things. And over here, they just like on their phone or fucking bitching about something. Yeah. You, yeah. you know that's people that move here, right? Yeah, I feel that. I ain't hating on the, I, like I said, I came here, you know, I ain't hating on the people that came, that You're just here. making your observation. Yeah, I'm just saying that's how I see it. So people back home say hello to each other a yeah, lot. Yeah, people back home are more, you know, I guess, what you say, hospitable. Yeah. You well, know, they right. just got nothing to fucking do. <laughs> yeah, we ain't got shit to do, exactly. Yeah. Out here, people actually got shit to do. Exactly. So back they're home, trying we to ain't go really to got lunch. shit except, yeah. you know. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You moved here so that you could, you know, make a better life for yourself. Exactly. Yeah. Get busy, make it big, that's what have agents and managers calling you, right? Yeah. So that one day, eventually, you could be the guy on your phone with your head down ignoring some idiot that just moved here from Louisiana. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Tony. Tony, I ain't, saying I, want people, I ain't saying I'm asking people to say hello. I'm just saying I'm just something no, I No, you're just making these yeah, observations. Exactly. Yeah. How do you uh, feel about the Jews? <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, I'm going to tell you, dude. You want, you want me to be honest? Ah! Yeah, no, hold on. He just said, you want me to be honest? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait a second. This is interesting. Turn off the video. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Can we stop the stream? Actually, you know what? It'll stop itself. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm be honest, bro. I'm from a really, really small town in Louisiana. Yeah. You never and met one before. I never met no Jewish people before. Yeah. And uh, so, <laughs> what hey, you? I but I know I don't I like them. Like See, I just—it's really funny because just because I ain't got no hair, people assume I ain't friends with them. Yeah. I'm like, bro, y'all cool. But yeah. I met—I met one. Uh, the first one I met. Yeah. Was um. <laughs> Dude, this is fucking brilliant. <laughs> Great. How Jewish? Like, did he have the fucking? No, she was a she. She. Uh, I worked. She was a she. Yeah, I worked. Uh, We're in L.A., she, asshole. She is a she. How do you know? Because she is a lesbian. Ah. Ah. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean, huh? <laughs> That's a chick that likes a chick, right? Yeah. Yes. That's what I thought. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I'm, I'm trying to be PC. Okay, so you met a lesbian Jewish woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
Go ahead. I worked on the TV shows, like back home, I worked security on them. Right. And uh, she was one of like the chicks from out here, down there. Right. And uh, I didn't know she was Jewish until she told me. I always thought she was a chick. Yeah. And when... <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Wow. This, wow. This is your stand-up, by the way. <laughs> this is why you're funny. Okay, now I'm getting it. People from Louisiana uh, are different. <laughs> okay, so what happens? So, like, you shake her hand. Does your hand heat up or anything? No, uh, <laughs> no. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I yeah. was, I was, uh, I was working security in, um, in the like literally in the swamp in Louisiana. Yeah. And um, like, I was my job was to watch the fucking road and make sure nobody jumped, uh, nobody tried to break in the dirt road. Like they got anybody within a couple miles, you know, ain't got nobody out there. Right. But I'm sitting there. It's, I can work twelve hour shifts, so I'm sitting there smoking cigarettes, leaning on my car, yeah, reading a book. Yeah. I know I don't look like I read a book. Yeah, yeah. But I'm yeah. reading a book. Right. What and book I see were you this reading? Walk by and she goes. Can you just tell us what book you were reading real yeah. fast? Uh, I was reading, uh, Are Jews Real? <laughs> <laughs> I know they're real. I've seen South Park, bro. I know they're real. <laughs> I know they're real. <laughs> I've seen South Park. Holy shit, Nate Welch. This is good. Okay, oh, good. my God. So, okay, go on. So, what are you reading? Oh, I was reading uh, Dialogue, Robert McKee. The okay. I right, write. Okay. So I was doing that. Sure. But I was just reading the book and I said good morning. Back call back to that. Yeah, yeah. I just said good morning because I was literally the only person there and she walked by to go to Crafty or some shit. Yeah. She's yeah. like the only other person. Yeah. So I feel go. weird not saying hey to somebody. You just, should oh, say stupid. hello. You so I said good hi. morning and she was yeah. like, Good morning. Like surprised. And that's what how I feel like a lot of people are here is when I say that to somebody, I see somebody I'm like, Hey, good morning. Yeah. They're like Now when you said good morning, did you pronounce it like free Palestine? <laughs> I don't think I ever said Palestine in my life, to be honest with you. <laughs> Palestine is the guy that wrote all the Goosebumps books, right? <laughs> That's his cousin. There it is. Joelberg. Wow. Joelberg is here. <laughs> so good. Okay. My goodness. So then you guys become friends? Oh, yeah. Or? So we became cool, and uh, she actually lives out here. She told me I should probably come out here because I was trying to do comedy and trying to write and shit. So How did you find out she was Jewish? She told me. It just started it off. Well, I brought, her, I brought her and her old lady to a crawfish bowl. And she couldn't oh, eat wow. the crawfish because it's a shellfish. No, she ate it. She did. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, well, lesbians, they love to eat they well, love to eat out. Well, it's funny because when I gave them the a plate because they ain't never had crawfish before. So yeah, we gave right. them my, like, I brought them down there with my boys who were all like big couillons. And I brought them down there and they, uh, they got like a big plate of fucking crawfish and like corn and sausage and hot dogs and shit. Yeah. Fuck yeah, lesbian. And I gave it, I, pulled, I picked up the hot dog and I was like, I know you don't like these, but you, you should try it. And, she, right. and then that's when she said, she, you know, something, something, something. And somehow Jewish came up. Yeah. Ah, they can't bad. eat any of that food. Yeah. No shellfish, no yeah. pork. That's why. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So you basically, yeah, you were trying that to. That might be why them. she ain't eat it then. That's probably it. Yeah. Okay. It's not that she likes pussy. Thanks, bro. <laughs> 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 You're just thinking she's a lesbian the whole time. What are some <laughs> Yeah, I was making a lesbian. Like joke. These lesbians are weird. <laughs> <laughs> Did you learn anything else about Jewish people since moving out here? Uh, I think they're cool. The ones that I met, they cool. Yeah, I don't see. I just see them as they people. How do I don't, you? I don't know what they do different. How do you rank them, like <laughs> amongst people. the minority like the power people. rankings? Like, it's, yeah, give me your minority power ranking. <laughs> well, like, well, start. Well, I'm gonna be honest. I'm okay. a dark meat kind of guy, so You're I'm gonna go with uh, black people. Okay. They're then, your, they're your favorites. Are we? Are we starting with your least favorite or your favorite? <laughs> My favorite. Okay. okay. Good. I'm from New Orleans, and a lot of people think because I got a bald head and I'm from the South that I don't like people. Right. Right. But I'm like, nah, I'm cool with pretty much everybody except people I don't fucking like. Right. <laughs> Who are those people? Assholes. All right. right. Chinese. People without, you know. <laughs> nah, like, bro. You know, hey, cool, bro. yellow asshole. <laughs> Dark asshole. <laughs> nah, bro. So, okay, nah, so but, black. No, nah, I like everybody, bro. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, but right. I, I like, you know, I'm from the South, so I got, I guess, flavor. Flavor. I, that, that's the thing. I think white people are the most fucking annoying people, to be honest with you. Right. Whoa. Right. I mean, you not all white people, not all white people, but yeah. like the fucking, like I go to like, you know, I, I hear a lot of people talk about shit and yeah. out here, there's different shit that we talk about back home. Yeah. And like, I guess they just, you know, white, that's white people shit. I see a lot of that's white people shit oh, out here. Oh, sorry to bother you with women's rights. 
Well, no, bro. See, I think everybody's cool, bro. It don't matter if you're a chick, dude, used to be a chick, used to be a dude, about to be a dude. I don't give a fuck. You friends with any? You make friends with any transgender people yet? I know a couple. Yeah? I what? met. I, they got them in New Orleans, dude. Oh, wow. I'm sorry. All right. I didn't Bourbon know. Bourbon Street. That's why they call it gumbo out there. That's, <laughs> well, that's the thing, bro. It's like out here, like like back home, we got people from all over. Not that Real much. quick, do you feel do you feel how natural you're talking right now compared to like in the beginning? When yeah, I was shit? nervous. I, ain't gonna, I know I ain't you're nervous. It's a really punk. crazy yeah. thing to come up and do it. But look how funny you are when you're just yeah. kind of talking about your experience. That's what they always tell me. So tap into that. True. Thanks, man. You don't have to. You don't have to fake it or be it. It's already in there. So just well, let that it really out. means a lot because that's one For of the sure. things I'm trying to figure out is like because I ain't been doing it that long out here. Yeah. And it's just a matter of like trying to figure out how to take that and put it right here. You know? That's it. Yeah, no yeah, fucking That's why shit. I felt like I've been coming here since, I've been coming doing this since like March. Okay, good. And Keep it up, And this is man. the first time I got up, so I, I felt like, you know, it'll Absolutely. probably help me good. take that stuff. Absolutely. Funny, Funny and stuff, man. And exactly that. And it's all the stuff that uh, that we dragged out of you. You know what I mean? You yeah. came up here and you talked about Louisiana, but you really talked about what you look like. You did a lot of jokes about that. And then during this interview part, you're talking about the real I'm from Louisiana, your real perspective on things, not just jokes about what you look like. It's but just hard to figure stuff. out how to do that. Let me cut you off. You just did it. You're doing it. Well, thanks, man. There he is. Nate yeah. Welch, everybody. Ooh. Booyah. Who that? On to the next one. Fun times. Come back. Keep signing up, Nate. Sometimes it takes a while to... Get up for your first time, but you gotta just keep fucking signing up. You can't win the lottery if you don't play.